Sheikh Islam Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab's eight Nuat Nuaqdul no, no Islam states that helping the Mushrikun against against Muslims negates one Islam. But do, but does this apply in every circumstance? For example, you have the example of the Sahabi Hatib ibn Abi Balta, who sent a letter to the Quraysh revealing the Prophet sallallahu plans. Yeah, and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi did not declare him to be a kafir. Yeah. Okay, as a Muslim, I support the principle. What's the principle? Justice. What's principle? The truth. So, me supporting a kafir against another Muslim, it's haram. No doubt, it's haram. It's an evil deed, it's an evil sin, especially when I support him against a Muslim, when I'm supporting him oppressively. But at the same time, it's haram for me to support a Muslim against a non-Muslim oppressively. It's haram for me to support a Muslim who's oppressing another non-Muslim or Muslim. Me, I stand up by the principles, not by the people. I stand up for the, for the principles, for justice, for truth, for rights, for what's accepted, for what, for what brings benefit. But I cannot support someone supporting wrong. No. But what about the Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab saying that this negates one Islam? N negates you from Islam yeah. if you support a mushrik yeah. against Muslims in the war. If you support a non Muslim against Muslims in a war, believing that's the best or believing that's the right thing to be done, of course that's not, the, 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 of course that negates Islam. But if you do it under pressure or do it for a worldly thing, then it's not. Like Hatib ibn Abi Balta.